Hi, this is Steve Martin with TransWest Truck Trailer and RV here in Frederick, Colorado. And I'm uh, here with Cherish today, our videographer. And I'm excited to present to you guys and showcase the 2021 Newmar New Air. This is a 3545 model. And uh, this is just an exciting coach. We haven't had one for a while. We sold out last year and we've got a few coming on order and coming in. This is the first one here today, but it's a 35 foot diesel pusher that is considered one of their luxury coaches. It has all of the, if you're familiar with Newmar, it has all of the features and um, quality of a London Air uh, or Essex, which is one of their top end, two of their top end coaches. Uh, this particular coach uh, has a stock number of 5N200551 and it's a 2021 Newmar New Air 3525. And I'm going to show you some things today that are new for 2021 and then show you some things about the New Air that makes it so marketable and makes it so popular. Number one, it's only 35 feet long. Um, it's on a, this particular one is on a Freightliner chassis with a Cummins 450 horsepower motor. So 35 feet long, 450 horsepower engine, six speed Allison transmission. This thing's a hot rod. Uh, when they first came out with new airs, they only put a 360 horsepower engine in them. And they were 33 feet long, they were two feet shorter. And I think that was, that was one of the things that customers talked about was they felt like they were a little underpowered. So in true Newmar fashion, what they do? Made them two feet longer and put a 450 horsepower motor. Nothing's gonna outrun this on the road, going up down mountains and passes and stuff. Um, so as we walk around, I'll kind of point out some stuff uh, that New Mars does and has been doing for quite some time. Number one is they're 16 inch on center structural walls. These are not laminated walls. These are 16 inch on center, just like a house. Flush slides. These slides, these slides when they go in, they reset, recess in this pocket right here so there's no overhang. So you don't get air noise and You'll get wind, noise, and rain and stuff. Uh, they've left this bay open. It has an optional uh, refrigerator freezer on a slide tray you can put in here. It's got a pass, uh, three-quarter pass-through slide tray here. Double doors here that opens up. It has one slide tray. You could put another slide tray in here that would that would uh, slide both ways. Uh, new for 2021. They've, they've made this, this is on magnets, so it comes loose and you can articulate this around. It also will tilt down now. It's locked down now, you have to get a wrench and loosen it. Uh, but you can tilt this TV forward now. Uh, something new for 21 in the storage bays, they have LED lights now. And those lights come on when you open up the bays. Yeah, this is something, thanks Cherish, uh, this star foundation, when you see this additional steel, uh, it's a modification they've made to the Freightliner chassis or if it's on the Spartan chassis to the Spartan chassis, Newmar does it. It's the first thing they do when this coach comes into, the, into their factory on the on line. Um, bless you. They uh, modify this chassis with tubular steel. Uh, heavy strength tubular steel and uh, it, it just accentuates the, the chassis itself. It creates all the storage bays, gives it a lower center of gravity, just gives it a lot more support. It doesn't uh, affect the flex of the chassis and the box beams. They don't set it on top. They, they weld it to the sides and leave a gap on the top. So when this coach is going in a drive or approach or something and it flexes, it's not flexing the floor inside that could pop tiles, um, 
the floor tiling. Um, and it gives it a lower center of gravity with all these angled brackets, angle iron going back to the center of the coach. It's just, it's, it's one of the best driving, probably is the best driving motor home in the industry with what they do, Star Foundation, Comfort Drive, V-Ride with the Freightliner, stuff like that. Uh, the new for 21, they have a 360 camera system. They have cameras on the sides, the front, the, the back, the top, uh, and I'll show you inside a view of that on the screen. It's a really neat camera system. Um, they're a masterpiece finish. This is a multi-layer automotive finish. Um, stripes are painted on. It's got a minimum of two coats of clear coat on it. Just a great finish. You add that with their 16 inch on center structural wall, you get a real flat smooth finish. That's how you notice a notice a Newmar going down the road. The side walls are so flat and shiny versus a laminated wall that you get some waviness in. More storage. Uh, a lot of electrical connections out here. There's 120 volt hookups, stuff, new LED lights as I described. All done really nice and neat. Aluminum wheels, 22 and a half inch tires. These are 305s, big wide tire. Wider the tire, the taller the wheel, the better the ride. More storage, the LED lights. I won't say it anymore, but there's LED lights all the way around. This is your cranking batteries and your chassis disconnect right here. So you get two 12-volt uh, cranking batteries for this. That big muffler down there is part of your DEF system, your diesel emission fluid system. That's what qualifies this coach for a tax exempt, state tax exempt for the state of Colorado. Wish other states would follow suit, but Colorado does. 450 horsepower. This thing motors. Uh, there is nobody has ever that I've talked to has ever complained about the power of this 35 foot new air. All molded fiberglass rear rim with a spoiler on top. That keeps the air coming down, uh, keeps the dust and stuff off the back of this coach. Engine bays, all on struts, real easy to use. All your fillers, dryers, uh, power steering fluid, all that stuff is all back here. Uh, let's see what else this has. About 120 volt plug-in. Um, that's about it. It's accessible to the engine. Hopefully you're not having to be back here. Hopefully you'll bring it to us for service. And uh, but it's a real neat job, really. Newmar and Freightliner do a great job of putting these things together. All stainless steel trim in the back, all molded fiberglass. It's part of your camera system. Huh? Tow capacity on this is a lot. It is 10,000 pounds. So pretty much anything you want to tow, you want to pull three horses in a trailer or a big boat or Whatever, you have up to 10,000 tow capacity and it's plenty of power and torque. Side generator. Um, hmm? Radiator. Side radiator. Side generator. Oh, front generator. Front generator, side radiator. Side radiator. Uh, so this masterpiece finish that they've got going on here. Um, if you'll notice new Mars, they finish the stripes on the side. They paint the side. A lot of people will just paint it black or one color back here and they don't continue the stripes around. Just gives it that finished look. Very nice. Slide awnings, slide toppers. Here's your def tank right here. It's your diesel exhaust fluid. So this is new for 21. All stainless steel trim and stainless steel faucet in the dump bay right here. This thing is very well done. They used to they used to be plastic and they did engravings. Now they've done uh, etched decals on here. Everything is well marked. Got your electric your uh, electric hose reel. 
uh, LED lights, everything that you have to do as far as dumping and water and pumps and draining is, is all done from this area right here. It's the egress door, it's exclusive to Newmar. Instead of an egress window, you have an egress door. That's an egress window. So you could jump out the window if you want. You either have to go feet first or head first. Either one of them is probably a bad result. This door opens up from the bathroom, go around the toilet, and there's a ladder that drops out of the bottom. You can get out quickly and safely. Oasis low pressure hydronic heating system and on demand water system is back here. It's a diesel boiler that does both heating and hot water, electric hose reel, and your central vac. All LED lit. Big inverter, then Xantrex inverter, pass through storage. Just storage everywhere they could think of. <clears throat> it's got eight 12 volt, eight 6 volt AGM batteries on this unit. It's got, it's got a residential refrigerator, so it's got two additional batteries. New for 21, the front cap is on a, is on, a, on struts. It opens real easy. Here's your 8,000 watt Cummins Onan diesel generator, air horns, air chuck, so you can hook an air hose and air up your tires or your rubber duckies or whatever you do, and it's got a hot water spigot. You hook a hose up to that and clean your windshield if you got bugs and stuff. Real convenient. Okay, Cherish, let's go inside. Stock number 5N. 200 551. This is just a beautiful coach. It's cozy, works for two people, works for four if you'd like, but it's kind of designed for two people. Uh, something new for 21 is uh, they've redesigned the radio and stuff, 360 camera, Bluetooth in the steering wheel for your phone. You can, oh, oh, you can, uh, you can answer your, and, and shut off your phones from up here. If you have them in your stored, in your, in your contacts, their name and number will come up. If not, just the number will come up on the screen here. You have, uh, Wireless charging stations you have one there and one on the passenger side. Uh, JBL speaker systems. In these speakers, the tweeters are now in the speakers instead of in the A pillars over here. And JBL has come in and, and uh, readjusted all their sound system. This has just a great sound system in it for 21. They, they had a good sound system before, but it's even better now. Yeah, let's see. Whoops, okay, menu. I can't see. Layer. Yep. Okay, here's your camera views. All around, in the front, both sides. both sides right left or rear and this is the one I don't understand who's taking that that's showing the top of the coach so if Cherish was up there hanging out you could see her up on the top I don't know where it comes from it's some kind of technology that's above my head <laughs> <laughs> really nice furniture uh, villa furniture and seats and upholstery um, they just do a great job. So this coach has a table and four chairs. 
I left this additional chair out to show you. This year, all these additional chairs are in ultra leather instead of fabric that matches. So it's real easy to clean, real comfortable. Um, this has the stadium seating, the theater seating, whatever you want to call it, that reclines. And it has LED lit cup holders. So you could sleep here if you had to. All maple interior, plywood maple interiors on all their cabinets. Just a high quality cabinet all the way around. All these are all hardwood, all hardwood styles and rails, all carpeted so things won't rattle. Chair, show them the, this is your air conditioning vents. This is your return air and your supply air up here behind these vents. And look at this neat lattice work that they've done. Um, you don't see that in a lot of coaches. It's just really classy looking. Not overdone, just looks nice. Bose sound bar for the televator. It's over here. Let's see if we can get that up, Cherish. Where is it? Oh, yeah. There's the televator. It's a little bigger TV this year. It's all Samsung with all bows. That's, that's consistent throughout the coach. JBL speakers for the stereo, Bose speakers for the TVs, and all Samsung TVs in the, in the master, in the living room, and outside. That just so happens to be my brand. This coach is equipped with a Traveler. Uh, I believe it's a Traveler 360 HD satellite dish. Yeah. So it's got the good, all the good stuff. It is. Um, show them over here. Yeah, a little china cabinet here. You can put all your nice china glasses here that'll fall over when you're going down the road, or you can glue them, or Velcro them. But it's a not once you get splits. You know, if you use this and you and you snowbird and you're in Arizona or Southern California or Texas or wherever you might be for six months through the winter, you know, you can displace some of your nice china and bottles and decanters and stuff. Uh, central vac. That's your sweep attachment. And there, there's hose attachment over here. But I was going to show them this, Cherish. The uh, this is yeah. called more floor. This is a hydraulic. Both of these are hydraulic slides. It's a real heavy mechanism. And Numar puts tile in the slide floor. Uh, nobody in the industry is doing that. Numar invented the slide on a motorhome. They were the first one to do it in the, in the early 90s. Uh, and now they've come up with a way with the Star Foundation and more floor with these hydraulic slides to put to put tile in the floor of the slides when and when these slides came in and out and this this coach is flexing when it goes down the road and then approaches and drives and stuff that it won't pop the tile it's just a great 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 system solid surface countertops under mount this has a single sink stainless steel single sink Big sink, put a skillet in there. Induction cooktop that's removable. You can take it outside, put it on the patio table, and plug it in. Convection microwave, bake, broil, roast microwave in there. And then it has all these big drawers underneath with tons of remotes that you don't need. Uh, this is the uh, control for all your shades, all the shades, the solar shades and the blackout shades are, um, are electronic. Self-closers on the drawers. Here's your control panel. You can operate the whole coach from right here. Generator, AC power, DC power, water, climate, engine block heater. This has electric floor heat. Uh, this is a real comfortable coach. So hydronic heating. Um, tankless water heater, on-demand water heating, and electric floor heating. I don't know what else you would want. Here's our door, all porcelain sinks. Uh, here's your egress door. What was that? I think that was an automatic toilet flush. 
I think I flushed the toilet, folks. <laughs> I didn't even use it. But egress door, there's a ladder that comes out of this panel. All ceramic tile shower, teak wood seat. Uh, have you noticed how the drain is down there? The drain's behind that, that tile on the bottom, that pebble tile on the bottom. It's a real classy look. Nice size shower for a 35 foot coach. All hardwood cabinets still, all maple finished, maple hardwood on the inside. A residential refrigerator. It's a Samsung with styrofoam. It keeps your stuff from falling out. Now this is just packing. But uh, nice, really deep, big residential refrigerator with a full-size freezer underneath and ice maker. My nose always starts running when I do one of these. King bed, storage underneath. Great windows behind with those shades coming across. Side windows for side ventilation. Yeah, these slide, right? Those slide, yeah, from side to side. Yep, and you have windows, your exit windows, your egress windows that you can open if you'd like. Bypass door, uh, closet goes full hanging stuff all the way across, some shoe shelves and some more shelves in here. It's got a built-in safe over here. There's your other chair for the dining table. All LED lights. This, is, this does not have it in it. Uh, surprisingly, it's about 50-50 with people that want a washer dryer and people that don't. A lot of people just like the storage. So this one is pre-plumbed and pre-wired for washer dryer. It'd be nothing for us to put a washer dryer in there. Stackable washer dryer. Same thing over here, Samsung TV, all uh, big dresser drawers, all your uh, AV stuff is up here, all Sony Blu-ray player, all Sony and Samsung. Well, Cherish, that about takes us to the end of this lovely tour. Um, I highly recommend anybody looking for, especially a couple, if you're tired of the big 45-foot stuff, or you just wanted to get in a diesel pusher and have something that, you know, is easy to drive, easy to get around, easy to park, this is your coach right here. It is well done. Like I said, they consider this one of their luxury diesel pushers, even though it's only 35 feet long. It's got a big engine. It's got all the amenities that we put in, the Essex, the King Air, the London Air, uh, but it's just in a smaller package. And uh, these won't last long, folks. We ran out of them last year. We'll run out of them again this year. This is the first 21 that we've got in. We have some more behind it. Uh, there's, there's, there's some on order that you can make changes to the new colors and stuff too if we get it in time. But give me a call. It's Steve Martin at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My contact number is 970-290-6120. <coughs> or you can email me at steve.martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, at transwest.com. Thanks for joining me today and be safe out there. Thank you.